So Andy, here we are at the Pierre Hotel. This yes. environment is stunning. I'm looking at the chandelier. I'm yeah, looking the at the environment, the background right. that, that we're going to go ahead and start photographing. But I want to talk to you about your equipment before we bring our bride and groom in. Okay. As we were setting up, I noticed that we had some equipment failure. And I want to actually talk about that because that's reality. You know, as seasoned professionals, we need to be pre prepared for that. So tell me what happened and then what, what did we end up deciding to do? All right. Well, we were hooking up our our lights yeah. and one of the cables failed and uh, what I always do is have backup for everything that's really really important when you do a wedding you can't come in with one camera you actually should come in with three cameras because you know if one fails mm -hmm. the second one will a hundred percent fail and then you have the third one to fall back on so um, we always bring backup for everything I have extra lenses extra uh, lighting mm -hmm. whatever is necessary to make sure the job gets done exactly so uh, in two minutes here we just switched over the lighting systems mm -hmm. and we're back yeah. in business. And it, so let's talk about what did you decide to go with? So what uh, are we we're using today? We're going with the new uh, Profoto B1s nice. to start with here. Uh, and uh, we're going to use them to light our portraits. Okay. I'm going to mix that up with a uh, hair light. Can we set that up, by the way? We're going to set up a, a, a hair light, which I use a Lumidine for. Okay. And that'll give a little bit more of a three-dimensional quality to our photographs. And uh, that's pretty much the deal. I have a very, very, very simple lighting setup. And, uh, and I'm gonna use that hair light. Okay, so we're gonna come in, drop this down. Are bridal portraits pretty typical for you? Is this something you would do before the wedding started or after yeah, the wedding? I do all, uh, the big thing with us is that I try to get all my portraits done prior to the wedding. Um, I'm really good at convincing brides and, and grooms to see each other before. I give them their few minutes of time uh, to you know see each other. I think that the guys appreciate it because they're not like in a look Shaking. like deer in headlights when the bride's <laughs> walking down the aisle at the church. So you can really appreciate the bride. And also, by doing your portraits early, the uh, bride and groom look really good on camera, as opposed to after the church and it's two hours later and everything's, you know. Uh, utterly stressed. Well, you look gorgeous right now, and the hair is perfect. And I'm going to just give a little tilt. And what I want is basically very simple. It's a light at a 45 degree angle. I have a fill light behind me. I'm going to bring this up a little bit higher because this will help bring shadows down behind. And what we are going to do is, Caroline, you're gonna lean in, looking at right at me. That's beautiful. Tilt the head just a little bit. Perfect, just like that, you're great. Perfect. All right, so again, nice and tall. Roll that uh, left shoulder back a little bit and lean into me. Turn your head a little bit more. So looking right into the camera, perfect. Nice, one more. So let's change this up. You're gonna come up this time, and I'm gonna do a real quick picture. Uh, just come over for one second. So tr I always try to do things in order. Right foot on the second step, lean on your forearm, and just put this hand here. Okay, so very simple uh, masculine portrait. Yeah. I've been doing very it traditional. for 40 years, mm -hmm. and it works, and everybody buys it. So it's a great shot. Turn your head a little more to me, Brian. Tilt a little bit, chin down just a touch, and you're in business. Good, one, that's excellent, just like that. Uh-huh, fabulous. Come, move your foot over to the edge and hop over just a little bit. There you go. You're gonna come and scoop your arm through this. There you go. Lean I in. love that you bring the stool because I would have never thought how many poses you're getting Let here. Let me tell you, I started, I should own this company because I think that pretty much the entire photography industry in New York City owns that, <laughs> that same ladder. So it's ridiculous. All right, Kelly, nice and tall. Turn your head to me more and lean together the two of you now there's a uh in the in the get in a little tighter good i love it just like that okay we're good. this is really nice you're gonna look at each other good just the way you are. that's nice perfect and i'm kind of framing them in this arch that's on the wall um but that's perfect can you do one from up there Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Let's just try something. And you can play around. I mean, it doesn't mean, that's what I like about this light. It's on the run. You don't mm -hmm. have to, um, you don't have to set up lighting here. This, this could be very cool. All right, just like that. Good. All right, now, Brian, turn, no, the other way. Go the other way, go the other way. Right there. Oh, Stop. Yeah. Okay, Caroline, turn to Brian Moore. The other way. Go back the other, the other way. way. Go back, go out. right there. Separate out a little bit, just a touch. Don't move. 
Yeah. It's neat. I can see your vision, not even knowing what it is that you had in yeah. mind. I this can see a, what you're a, doing. A very, this yeah. is actually, you know, and then you can mm -hmm. finesse it. So. Neat. That's beautiful. So you're getting that shadow, that beautiful it's shadow. beautiful. You're giving great direction to them. It's very yeah, that's clear. that's important on. because, I mean, mm -hmm. they're not, you know, these are not, you're not dealing with models and, uh, you know, you want to make sure that everybody's comfortable. All right. Uh, both of you looking here, lean into, put your hand behind you, like you're leaning on the, you, you know, you, that's what I want. Drop the hand down. You're good. Yeah. You're good. All right. Let's just do one. Let's do one like this. What's that? Yeah, come down now. I'm sorry. And I see Leslie is still. Leslie's shooting away. And yeah. what we get, we get, and you know, mm -hmm. I think that we're going to get some, you know, interesting shots, different angle. And it saves me time to concentrate on the bride and groom. My goal with a second crew, with a second photographer, lean in a little bit more. Let me just do it this way. Good. Fabulous. Just like that. This is pretty, very pretty.